Blockchain technology and services continue to evolve and today I'm very happy to show you that now there's an easy way to convert tokens cross blockchain. Specifically, there is now an easy way to convert ERC20 tokens to EOS tokens and coins. That is a fantastic innovation in the climate that we are in because you have to remember that now the blockchain climate when it comes to dApps and tokens and everything that we do with them is incredibly split between different blockchains and there are no there is really no consensus around which blockchain is going to be the one and only blockchain in the future or many people don't even believe that there will be one and only blockchain in the future so right now we're in this climate where we have many blockchains and we use tokens cross blockchain and then we have now fantastic tools that have been released that handles this cross blockchain transfer of tokens in a very quick way without being a custodian. And I'm going to show you that in this very video how you can do that and it is incredibly incredibly simple and fast. So you don't want to miss that very interesting video indeed. And before I begin I of course want to remind you that you should join the Ivan on Tech Academy. It's the academy that me and Ivan on Tech run together and I teach almost uh, part in every course over at the academy. So you should join and you can get a special price by pressing the link in the description. We have courses on smart contract programming, on EOS, on Ethereum. We have blockchain fundamentals covering Bitcoin, Ethereum and everything you need to know about that. We have now a trading course as well that came out last month. And the next course coming up at the end of this month is a Bitcoin deep dive course. We haven't really named it yet, but it's going to be everything about Bitcoin programming, how you can program scripts, how you can actually program your Bitcoin and uh, use the Bitcoin protocol, integrate that into your apps and services, whatever. So make sure to check that out in the link in the description. With that being said, now we're going to check out this tool. And it comes from Bancor, or it's actually Bancor that has integrated it into their wallet. And I want to begin, of course, by saying that I'm in no way affiliated with Bancor, nor have I been paid to make this video. I just find it to be an interesting tool that I want you guys to see, because it is nice when we see progress within the blockchain community, especially cross blockchain. I find that interesting. So here I have my account. I have some uh random uh, tokens here and i've deposited some eos i've deposited some ether and uh, now i'm going to show you how this works so we're going to convert between and we're going to convert between dice which is an eos token runs on the eos blockchain and the maker token which runs on the ethereum uh, blockchain we're going to hit convert and we're going to select our dice token let's hit the dice token and then we're going to convert that to the maker token. So cross blockchain, very important for this demonstration to be even cooler. We're going to max out here. So I'm going to transfer all of my dice to maker. I'm going to click next. And this can take some time. There we go. I'm going to enter my password. I'm going to hit convert. And then transaction in process, go back to wallet. And this can actually take some time because this, um, this actual uh, transfer is kind of special and they do it in a um, special way. And explain, I'm going to explain how it works. And then you realize why sometimes it might take some time because it's not easy. It's not obvious how you do a cross blockchain transfer. So how does Banker do it? Well, in a simple sense, they have a token that runs on both Ethereum and on EOS. They are separate tokens, but they have a way of communicating between those two smart contracts. So they have one smart contract on EOS, one smart contract on Ethereum. So in this case, when I transfer from the EOS blockchain to the Ethereum blockchain, they start by converting my DICE tokens into their BNT token, which is the banker network token on EOS. So now they've converted it to their uh, token on EOS and uh, then their smart contract on EOS will lock up or destroy that BNT token and that will uh, create a uh, that will create a notification or send a notification to an oracle so that is an outside service and the oracle 
will then send the signal to the Ethereum smart contract, the banker smart contract on Ethereum, and then that contract will lock, unlock the same amount of banker tokens and then convert that to my, um, to my maker token. So that is how it works. So you have two smart contracts and with this uh, process where you go from the uh, token that I want to transfer, the DICE token, to the banker token, to the banker token on the other blockchain, to the maker token. And there are a couple of issues with this because at the surface, this, this, um, this banker network wallet seems very good because I can own my own private keys. They are not the custodian and they can do cross blockchain transfers. That's fantastic, right? Well, there is one issue and that is that this service is not very decentralized since they use an Oracle. So it's not, and they probably use multiple oracles, but still they are in control of their oracles and it can be easily shut down. It doesn't matter if the EOS network is up and the Ethereum network is up, both are running. If their oracles are down, this won't work. And their oracles can censor transactions, of course. So this is a solution for doing cross transfer between cross blockchain transfer, but it sort of goes against the principles that we fight so hard for in the decentralized space overall but i tend to think that this is a uh, process that we will have to go through when we have multiple blockchains that we want to use when we might when we reach a scenario in the future where we maybe only have one blockchain or we have we have uh, we have one blockchain or we have just some better technology to handle oracles then we might might uh, get rid of this centralized middleman which this really is and it's not banker themselves but it is the actual oracles then we might have other solutions but for now i think we're stuck with that but i want to hear your opinions what do you think about these solutions and what do you think about doing cross transfer cross blockchain transfers and uh, do you think that these oracles will ever go away will it, will we ever have a situation where we can do cross blockchain transfers without oracles or will it simply be the case that um, we will reach a point where we have only one blockchain that is actually used for different purposes or is this just a re reality that we have to accept let me know what you think in the comment section i would love to discuss with you there thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video